So today I want to show you two ways to create phasing in the grid, which is having two voices playing the same sequence, but slightly out of sync with one another, so they drift in and out of phase, creating this beautiful effect. Now you might already know about phasing from the work of Steve Reich, if not, uh, have a listen to piano phase, for example, or violin phase. Now also these techniques are in my PDF of tips and tricks in Bitrig. If you are interested, it's available on my Patreon together with the project file from this video and other videos. And already you can see that we will use the note grid uh, for now, but of course this will work also with the polygrid. We will see this also later on. So for now, let's quickly create our first sequence. For this, we will use the steps module, right? This one here, let's go with, let's say, a. Uh, a sequence of 32 steps, maybe randomize this a few times, right, something like this. Now I would like to use this for pitch, so I will use the pitch scaler just so we are, um, we are in a certain um, range, right, and also the pitch quantize, and I will set the scale that I would like to use, right, and we will use this again for pitch information, so this will go to the note out module, now, since we are using, in the case of the sequencer here, we are using the pre-code, the phase pre-code, we will get for now a very fast sequence. Right, it will sound like this. Right, now this is not what I want. I still want to have a resolution of 16th notes, but just to have a longer sequence, a 32-step sequence. So for this, what we can do, we can deactivate the pre-code, and we will use the triggers module, right? We will set it to 16 because again, we want a resolution of 16th notes. And we will use also the phase counter module, right? And in this case, we will set this to 32 steps because it, we needed to um, drive the 32 step sequence, right? Well, the triggers will go to the counter and then the counter will convert the triggers back into phase that again we will use to drive or to scan through the steps module through our sequence. Now I would also like to keep this in sync. So under the inputs and outputs, we have here the transport playing, right? This will output a trigger whenever we play or stop, and this will reset the counter so everything stays in sync. Right, so now we get a 32 step sequence in the rate of 16th notes. If I play this, this is how it will sound like. Maybe I can take also the scalar here a bit. Let's say G to G, something like this. Right, so now we get a 32 step sequence, right? So this is the first sequence. And the first technique we will use is just having another sequence, exactly the same sequence, but in this case with only 31 steps. So each cycle of the sequencer, the sequences will go out of phase, right? So what I will do, I will duplicate this, right? So now we have exactly the same setup, but we will set the sequence to have only 31 steps. It's exactly the same. I'm not changing the values or anything. We will still have the same sequence, but just one step less. And also we have to remember to change the counter also to 31, right? So it will count or it will scan through the 31 steps. And in this case, we will utilize polyphony. So what I will do, I will add another note out module, right? And then this sequence will go to the second note out. So we have now two voices, polyphony of two voices. And in this case, I will also use um, the triggers to trigger the different voices, right? So this will go to one gate output and the second triggers will go to the second triggers output, right? We can also pen the voices left and right just so we can listen to, the, to them um, maybe better, right? So under level, we have the value module. If I set it to be bipolar, I can connect this to the panning here on the note output. One will be penned to the left, duplicate this, opalach, and then this will go to the second voice and we will pen this to the right. So now we have polyphony of two voices, 
right one is pinned to the left, one is pinned to the right, exactly the same sequence, just that each cycle it will be offset by one step. And actually before I play this, there are a few things to remember when dealing with polyphony in the node grid. So first of all, you, ha you need to have the note in module active inside your patch. In this case, I also have, if we look here, right, I have 16 voices and I have a still same key off, right? So each voice will play independently. And another thing you should remember is having also, right, a note um, event here. I have just a long note here as a clip. Right, because otherwise polyphony will not work in the node grid. Right, so now if I will play this, I will make sure just first of all that they are in sync. Right, so now if I will play this, you will see that we will start with the same sequence and then slowly, slowly they will drift out of phase. Right, and we get a phasing effect. It's exactly the same sequence, but one is pinned to the left, one is pinned to the right, and they are out of phase, and they keep getting out of phase until they will be in sync again after enough cycle, uh, cycles of the sequences. Right, I have here a few more voices. I have here a bass with a few layers, polysynth, FM4, Phase 4 Right, I have here also a lead sound with a polymer Let's wait for it The second technique we will build in the polygrid, I already have here a voice set up with a 16 step sequence. This is with the pitches module, right? And also the triggers module to trigger this voice, which is the phase one going through the AD envelope. It will sound like this. Right, so again, this is the first sequence. So now, first of all, we will duplicate this so we have another voice. Just select all of this, Control D. Let's bring this, let's say, down here. I will mix this also with the first voice. This will go to the mixer. Again, also here, I will pan this left and right so it's easier to listen to. So now we should have the, exactly the same sequence on the left and on the right, so it will sound like one voice. Right, but now what we will do is we will set one voice to play just slightly faster. So it will slowly drift out of phase. And for this, we will need to modify the phase signal. So we need access to the phase signal. So in this case, we will use Opalar. We will use the phase in module. For now, we can disable all of the pre chords from the sequencer and also from the triggers, right? Because we will use our own phase signal, right? And now we will use this instead of the pre chord, right? So again, the sequencer and the triggers for both voices. So for now, it should still be the same. Right, but now for the second voice, we will use the phase scalar module just for the second voice. So the phase will go first to the phase scalar and then back to the sequencer and the triggers. Now with the phase scalar, we can modify the phase signal. So the ratio, let's leave, it, uh, leave this uh, one to one so we have the same result. Make sure everything is in sync. Again, 
with the transport playing module. This will reset the scaler, so also now we should get the same result. Right, again, left and right are playing the same sequence, so we get basically just one voice. But now with the scaler, I can change the rate just slightly. So if I take this up by one, right now this will play just slightly faster and the sequencers and the voices will go slightly out of sync or slowly out of sync. Let's listen to this. Already you can hear the effect. Right, and you can see this also on the sequencers, how they are out of phase. Right, now we can add also modulation to this inverted modulation. So if I use something like the random LFO here, right, set it to bipolar, maybe a bit slower, let's set this to one bar. Right, I can modulate one um, phase uh, one, one VCO here in one direction and the second one in the inverted direction. So also here we have some movement between the left and the right. Now all what we need is a nice bass drone. I have here a drone that I've built in the polygrid, right, with a few VCOs, a few different modulation. Oh yes. And that's it, you can create interesting textures with these techniques and experiment with them in all sorts of ways. Once again, consider joining us on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Cheers.